What's up guys? We are back today. We are working on good old Bessie. The front axles are speeding grease everywhere. She's got about 126,000 miles on her. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace both of the front axles. Um, all of the videos that I saw on YouTube only had the driver's side axle replacement. Um, I don't know if that's for a certain reason, but we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. Um, I already have the wheels off. I already have the axle nuts broken loose. Uh, yeah, let's get started. Just a heads up, you will need a uh, 12 point 30 millimeter socket to get the job done. Use a half inch. I think when I took my Integra apart, I broke like two three eighths inch breaker bars taking the axle nut off because I just didn't learn my lesson. Use a half inch. Oh, I love working with limited space. Next, what we're gonna do is take off these three bolts right here and pull the hub back so hopefully I can slide out the axle. Because as you can see, it is just spitting grease all up in there, which we do not want. Instead of doing both at once, I decided to just get the harder side, or at least the side that I don't know exactly what entails done first and then we'll go from there alrighty so we ran into our first problem um, as you can see the bolts down there are broken free and out but I cannot get the hub out of the lower control arm so I don't, it's just there's not really much room to work with what I think I'm gonna do here is take off the caliper pull it back here and hang it out the way and then maybe take these two top spindle nuts off um, put the bottom ones back on so they don't fall out and then maybe I could pull this out and back a little bit to get enough room to wiggle that big old thing out right there so yeah I'll catch you guys up when I'm done I have the knuckle oh you can't see anything I have the knuckle off over there it's pretty much being, or the spindle is being held on by one of the top bolts just until I need to get the axle out. So my next step is to take this little, it's kind of like a C-clip thing, I believe, uh, to hold in the bearing. So I'm just going to try and take that guy out. And then I believe this nut here puts pressure on the bearing to keep it in place. Um, so I'm going to loosen that, but if I can't get it out after I take the little snap ring off and loosen the bolt what i'm gonna have to do is try and take off the bracket so you can see the bottom of the bracket there and then there's two top bolts that are going to be very hard to get to so hopefully hit that with some wd hopefully i'll be able to take the snap ring off undo this bolt and then whack it out of the transmission. So let's, uh, yeah, let's get that done. Let's see it if we can do it. The next day, let me show you what we have going on. Yesterday, this ed escalated very quickly and the uh, boot came completely off the axle there. But the big problem we're having is that the bearing on the axle is seized in the bracket, which this is why I didn't find any how-to videos on how to do it because everyone says that this bracket that bearing just seizes up in the bracket and it makes it impossible to get the axle shaft out of the uh, transfer case right here so yeah I, I tried all day yesterday to pound it out with a mallet with no luck so what we're gonna do today there are two ways that I heard of people fixing this. This first way I'm gonna tell you, I only see on um, like Toyota Corollas or Camrys and Siennas. And, oh shit, whoops. 
what they'll do is they'll unbolt this bracket and then they'll pry it out because there are some little dowel pins up there. They'll pry it out and then they'll hit the axle out. With the RAV4, in my case, you can't do that because this shaft is so short, it won't allow the pins to come out of the block. Like I, I tried to pry it for probably about 30 minutes yesterday, but I didn't wanna mess up the block or anything like that. So I'm not gonna do that. So the other way that people get it out is they will drill or find a, a screw and just screw that in until it breaks the bearing and then you can get it out. I don't want to do that because that has a chance of damaging the threads, which they say this bolt is to hold the outer race, but I mean, if it always gets seized, you really need to have that. Today, what I had to do was go to the hardware store, find a bolt that is way longer and stronger um, with the same thread pitch as the one that's supposed to stop the outer race. And you just screw that in. You should put some anti-seize on it so it doesn't screw up the threads completely. There is a chance it's going to mess up the threads. But the outer race rusts in there anyways, so what's the point? Uh, basically, you screw that bolt until I honestly screwed it until I couldn't anymore. Keep going. Screw it. You'll hear some cracks and then just keep going. It'll get easier. Once it's easier, you can back it out. So three days later, finally got that inner half shaft out. Now it's time to clean everything up. Put the new one back in. Alrighty, up next we are going to clean this rusted ass bracket with some, I have 150 grit and then I'm probably just gonna do that to clear the rust and then probably do 400 on the rest. Um, grease that up or put some anti-seize on there and uh, put everything back together. That is definitely the only downside to just screwing a bolt through until the bearing breaks. I wish I would have done that first because I would have saved myself probably two full days instead of trying other stupid crap. But the other side, you can see we have the new axle in there as well. Well, it's kind of tight in here, so it's hard to get like a pry bar to hit the axle off. Basically what I did was I went through, um, well, you can't see it now because the tray is in the way. There's a little space right here you could put a pry bar through and um, just kind of whack it out with a mallet. Um, there's a little groove, you can put it in the axle and get some grip there. The hardest part for me was honestly getting the axle back in the transmission. So I just align the axle splines in the transmission so the, the little clip is about to pop in. And then if you can see, there's a tiny lip right there, right there. And on the underside, I just tapped it with a mallet and pry bar to get that in. It was all good. Rest went together smooth. So see a lot of people that just take off the bottom bolts to do this. Um, I found that very difficult. I'd had to wrestle the hub. So I ended up taking off the bolts, the brakes, the strut bolts. Honestly, I just got everything out of my way and that made it much easier, but a little more time consuming. So however you want to do it, that bracket for the bearing is a pain in the ass and that's apparently on any Toyota model. Yep. There you go. Four days later, I got the axles replaced. So good luck.